Good morning once again. Good morning again to our another session of our subject, Differential Equation. So, we are already on the third method of solving first degree, first order, first degree differential equation. So, we've already done with the first method, which is variable separable, and the second method, which is homogeneous differential equation. And now, we will be discussing exact differential equation. So, if the first method, which is variable separable, offers a direct way of in order for us to integrate, the homogeneous differential equation uh, is a method where it is a longer method due to the substitution and the expansion of our equation. But homogeneous differential equation is a differential equation method which mostly could solve uh, more differential equations rather than the other equation. But homogeneous differential equation will still return to your first method which is variable separable. Now, we have the third method and I'm offering you a much easier method. But in this case, you need to recall your partial derivation, partial integration, and the normal integration and differentiation. So, palihog lang kung recall ha. So, inyahang differential calculus. Okay? So, let's start. Okay? So, exact differential equation, as it says, if a function f exists such that m and m dx plus n dy is exact, the total differential of f, then uh, then the equation will still follow the first order first degree, which is m of x, y, dx plus n of x, y, dy is equals to zero, which in this equation will have to make sure that our differential of n of x will be equal to your f. And in that manner, we will, we need to, so it is so not only kay basi malinga mo, we need to get the partial differentiation of m, which must be with respect to your y. So, this is partial differentiation na kung division, di ba? So, this is how you derive. So, mga, mga ano na siya, dili na siya 2, that is a partial, sorry. Eh, nga naman kung magsuot ang partial. So, so, from here, so, that is just a symbol. So, later on, I'll be giving you, actually, this one is, is just a uh, simple run siya. So, kung because of this, medyo con complicated siya tanawon because it represent variables and functions. So, ang we need to remember lang is in exact differential equation, before we solve for general solution, we need to check sorry, we need to check that our m with respect to your partial of m over partial of y must be equal to your partial of n over partial of x. Meaning, ang if we derive the n part of our okay, of our general form, so if we derive the m part, it must be equal to the result of the derivation of your n. Okay, that's how you check that the given equation is exact differential equation. Or you can use the method exact differential equation. So, delete na exact differential equation. Again, naiuban nga homogeneous na dyan ang magamit. Naiuban nga linear, naiuban Bernoulli. No? Medyo, supposedly, nasa ano na galita, kung regular class ta, supposedly, you should, you should already be in the Bernoulli and simultaneous. Pero medyo alanganin. So, we're still on the exact. So, kapit lang. Okay. So, from here, let's try to solve an example. So, let's try to solve. So, the given equation is okay, the given equation is 4 minus 2 2xy minus y squared 
dx minus x plus y squared dy. So the given is like that, okay? Let's leave it like that. So the given, we have this given. So the first thing we need to do is to derive this one, this part, the dx, and derive the, this, the dy. So from here, we need to first remember our general form. Our general form is m of x, y, dx, plus n of x, y, dy is equal to 0. Diba? That is our general form for a first order, first degree differential equation. So if you could see, our dx is just this dx. Diba? And our dy is just this dy. Okay. And therefore, the one that is beside your dx or dy is your m and this one is your n okay now so if we know that our m of x we know that our m of xy is equivalent to 4 minus 2xy minus y squared and for our n for our n part x y is equivalent to negative x plus y squared so question sir why did you include the negative sign between the dx and this x plus y squared in the answer because the reason for that is if you could look here, this is positive, uh, negative, and the general form should always be positive. So if in that case, the negative nisha, make sure the negative will in be included in your n, okay? Function of your n, okay? So so that if you include that negative, therefore, there, the sign of this will be positive. So, don't worry. It will still be the same because when you multiply it back, positive times negative, it always be negative. So, the purpose lang na to, Ani, na the negative sign between the dx and this function is in order for us to follow the standard form or the general form of the first order, first degree differential equation. Okay. Let's continue. So, in this case, our, our, what we'll be doing is simply deriving this 2. Okay? We'll just derive this 2. So, meaning, we have partial of M, okay, with respect to your Y. Sir, so, nganong Y? So, from here, if you could see, our M will, will be with respect to Y. Okay? Based on this, so, pag solve ni, partial of Y siya. So, Kinesia, this is the process that we will be doing. Okay? Deriving the given function with respect to xy. So, xy siya in a reason nga depending kung unsa ang naasasod. Okay? X or y. So, kung n put ka, that is with respect to x. So, that's the reason why in this case, we use partial of y. So, sir, kadlong na inana siya, sir? Yes. It will always be partial of m over partial of y okay so we derive this one so recall your partial derivation so what is in the partial derivation so partial derivation if you have a, a variable that is different from those from those uh, variable na a differential nimo then those variable that is different will be considered a constant okay so let's try sir unsa to sir so let's try, let's give an example. So let's try this one. So partial of this one, 4 minus 2xy minus y squared over partial of y. So therefore, 
what is the derivative of 4 plus, what is derivative of 4 plus, what is derivative of 4? Makadumog muna ko. So, derivative of 4, that is 0. So, now, sir, how I will derive that I have x and y? And remember, your derivative should be with respect to your y. So, my x must not be here, right? So, as I've told you, in the differential, partial differential, the variable that is not the same with your differential should or will be considered a constant. So, if we derive this one, this is just like 2, the x is just like an 2. So, we have 2 times 2, that is 4. So, let's say, so you just write that 2, x, because x is just a constant. So, 2 is a constant, x is a constant, because we are deriving with respect to your y. So, now, what is the derivative of y? What is the derivative of y, guys? Dunggan nga ninyo? Are you there? Okay. Putol, putol. Okay. So, the derivative of y is equivalent to 1, right? So, derivative of y is dy or 1 dy. So, now, in this case, y squared, okay, so, what is the derivative of y squared? So, with respect to y, so it's okay because the variable is y and this is y. The derivative of y squared, that is 2y, right? 2y. Therefore, our partial of m over partial of y is equivalent to negative 2x minus 2y. Okay? So that is for partial of m. Next, for, the, for our n. So in this case, we need to get partial of n over partial of x. So, here we, we, we try to extract this one so that it is much easier. So, negative, then x times x, that is x squared, x times y, that is xy, y times x, this is xy, so you have 2xy, y times y, that is y squared. After that, so, we'll derive this one is with respect to x. So, derive this one. So, oh yeah. Did you see this one? So, negative x squared minus 2xy minus y squared. Partial partial of x. That is partial. So from here, so we'll derive this one already. Madunggan pa kaninyo? So from here, you have derive your y, so that is 1. So that is derivative of y is with respect to y is 1. Then, derive this one that is 2y. So, therefore, your partial of m is equivalent to partial of y, which is equal to 2x minus 